I'm here to show you how to upload your new non-manual technique CD onto a tablet such as an iPad. Um, since I do have an iPad here, I will be using my iPad. Um, it will vary a little bit if you have a different tablet such as a Samsung or a Nook or any other sort of tablet that you have. The first thing that you want to do, and I'm going to have Bobby come over to the computer screen here, is you want to make sure that you already have your CDs saved onto your desktop. So I have my three CDs saved onto my desktop, and I will just open up one of them here. And as you can see, we have our four programs that you transferred over from the CD disk. You're going to click on the folder that has the documents within it, and you're going to click on the master index files. Once I click on that folder, it pulls up different PDF documents with all the master indexes. You're going to need to transfer these master indexes over to your iPad in order to function off of them or any other tablet. The best way that I found possible um, with this was to use an external cloud service such as Dropbox. Um, you can use iTunes, but I didn't find it was the easiest um, or most efficient way to do it. So I do recommend getting a Dropbox account, which is free. Um, up to a certain amount of storage. So what I'm going to show you is how to use Dropbox. So what you need to do is you have to select all of these master index files and you're going to right click and hit copy. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And you're going to download the Dropbox program. So if you just type in dropbox.com and you can download Dropbox. I have already done this, so I have an icon on my computer screen that says Dropbox. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this internet, but you would download the Dropbox program, set up a username and password um, that you can access from any computer um, or internet service um, around the country or world. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Dropbox icon on my computer. Within this, I have a few different um, programs on here, but I created a folder called PRI. You could name it CDs or whatever you'd like to name it. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And as you can see, I've already copied and pasted several. And I'll just go ahead and paste these ones that I've copied into this. So it's copying over, and I'm replacing some. So it's copied those over. Now, when it's copying them over, there'll be a little blue circle. That indicates that it's currently copying them over. If it has a green check mark, that means it's completed. So some of these ones that I've done earlier are completed. These ones that I just now copied over are um, in the current process of doing that. So that's all you have to do on your computer. Now, since Dropbox is an external cloud service, I downloaded the Dropbox application onto my iPad here. And I have it saved in a folder called PRI. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Dropbox application here. And here's my same folders I pulled up on my computer, so I'm going to pull up PRI. And as you can see, I have all the programs that have a green check mark on my computer are already downloaded on here. So you can see this Left Gluteus Medius program on here. Now you can function out of Dropbox if you'd like, but I'm going to show you an easier way that I found um, to work with PDF documents. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my home screen. And there are two different PDF um, programs here. Adobe Reader, which is a free program that you can get from your app store. It works pretty well, but I found um, this one that I actually purchased for $10 called PDF Expert um, to be very handy um, and user friendly. So I'm going to open this PDF Expert app. Now if you have Dropbox, you can actually I'm going to go back to my user settings here. Um, you can actually set up settings to sync automatically with your Dropbox. So if you click on Network, I already have a server um, as my Dropbox. But you can edit that. Oops, you can add. So if you were wanting to add Dropbox, you click Add and then click your Dropbox account. Type in your Dropbox information. And anytime you drop anything into that on the computer, it'll automatically sync with this um, program. So that's one of the features that I like about this PDF Expert program. So I'm going to go back to my documents here. And once again, I created a folder in here called PRI. So if I click on PRI, it has all of the ones that are currently synced. Now, as my Dropbox program transfer over here, it'll continuously add programs to this. So I'm going to go ahead and open. Here's Left Gluteus Medius. And to go back to the very top, it'll open it wherever you left off 
So I have actually been in this program before. But here is page 1 of 123. If you want to view thumbnails, you can click on these squares up at the top and you can quickly scroll through with thumbnails. But what you can do here, if you're sitting with your patient in the treatment room, is you can either flip through this screen, and you can zoom in and zoom out of this, um, to look for a different exercise. There's different settings whether you want to scroll up, scroll down. But once you find an exercise that you want to do here, so I'm going to click on number 27. You can click on that exercise. If it's not the exercises that you had in mind, you can, just like on a CD, click back to index. If you have um, your iPad or any other tablet set up to sync with your printer through an AirPlay device or some other um, sort of device, you can actually print from this PDF expert by clicking this little arrow tab up at the top and clicking print. Another thing you can do, though, do from this application is you can send by email. Now, I want to caution you, because this document is 123 pages long, whether you click print or whether you click email, you're choosing to print or email the entire thing. So if you do click print, you want to make sure that in range, you don't click all pages. You actually want to know what page you're printing. So if I go back to here and I click on it, it will tell me page 41 of 123. Oh, page 40. Sorry about that. Page 42 of 123. So then you would go back to your print and make sure that you only print page 42. Another cool feature about this before I show you how to email is you can actually draw on this with different icons up here. You can click the text button and you could type an additional instruction if you needed to for your patient and you could print it out that way. If you would like to email an exercise to a patient via this app, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save the actual exercises that you plan to email. The easiest way to do that is if you go back to your thumbnail view and you click edit. And once you click edit, you're going to want to select the activities that you want to save. And there's little circles in the corner of them. So I'm going to click that number 27 that I was just on. And then in the top right hand corner is the extract button. I'm going to hit extract. Now you can save this with someone's name. So we'll just select and I'm going to type in Bobby. So if I wanted to email this exercise to Bobby and I'm going to hit done and it's saving it currently. And then I can go back to my documents section and I'll be able to email just that one activity versus if you click email within this document, it'll email 123 pages, which will take a long time and it probably won't go through. So I'm gonna close out of here, go back to PRI, and here's Bobby. Now it is currently still in a process because it has this little orange arrow, um, but I can click on that and then click on this arrow button up here and now I can hit send by email. Send the document and it's gonna pull up my email and you can type in the patient's email address and send it via email. So there's some pretty cool things that you can, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this and go back to. So as you can see, here's all my documents and we created cover pages so they're easy to find. Um, so you know, here's left ischiocondylar adductor, left hip flexor inhibition. And like I said, they're going to be starting to sync over um, with some of those new documents that I dropped into my Dropbox form. So hopefully you'll find this helpful in using this new CD on your tablet. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email or call me and I will try to walk you through this process. Thanks.